with you. It's Aquarius's time. It's time for you to be the weirdo. It's time for you to be strange. It's time for you to not do things the way that Capricorn would have done it, which would have been, I show up, I do the thing, I get the reward. I show up, I do the thing, I get the reward. That does not work for you. <laughs> you have Uranus in the mix and Uranus is going to throw a wrench or a lightning bolt, I should say. Welcome Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising to your March 2024 energy reading. Let's see what we have in store for you. So I'm going to pull some tarot cards first, and then I'm going to get into the oracle cards. It's going to be a whole thing. So let's see. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's another card. Yes. Yes. Yes, queen. <laughs> Not of swords reverse. I've been trying to do all the things all the time, and it's a lot. Knight of Swords is you've been in full action. You've been in go mode. You are just maybe, especially with Pluto. Let's talk about Pluto. Pluto and Aquarius. I just did Capricorn and for four children. Capricorn has been feeling it. Capricorn, because Capricorn got so used to this, this re-energized re energy. This is exactly what you're feeling. So Pluto went to Aquarius and you were like, let's go. Let's do it. Let's jump jump on the bike let's go i have my bow and arrow let's go <laughs> and, whoa slow it down aquarius slow it down we get it pluto activated something in you and all of a sudden you're all brand new <laughs> but the fact that it's reverse is like let's let, let's take it slowly pluto's going to be in your sign for the next 15 years can you maintain this get up and go energy for 15 years? Probably not. <laughs> Let's be honest, right? So this energy right off the bat from March is saying, okay, yes, Aquarius, you started off strong. February was a one month. February was like your month to get things going. Damn. And you did it, right? Started a new job, um, new relationship, new, new business ventures, you are putting yourself out there. You are doing it, Aquarius. Good job. Yes, but you're, you're doing too much. You're doing too much all the same time. It's not sustainable for the long term. Okay. I asked for more messages and I got the chariot. Do you see the activity? Look at he's like he's on the on the coach, getting ready to like pounce. Does these horses are like running full speed? He's like getting ready to like go for it. I mean. Damn, yes, we get it. We get it. Pluto's in your sign. Pluto, it's been hard. And I get it too, because the last few years have been hard for Aquarius. I would say for the last five, because we have Saturn Aquarius. And then um I don't know all the placements right now. But it's just been hard. It's been hard for all of Aquarius placements. So I get it. I get it. I'm an Aquarius myself. And I probably have to take this advice. I'm gonna be honest. So we started off strong. We hit we hit the floor running. We hit the ground running. Yes, yes, go, go. We were tired. We were in that stagnant energy for so long that we were just like, we got the green light and we were like, oh, hell yeah, we're gone. We're gone. Don't got to tell me twice. Don't got to tell me twice. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, okay, we need to slow it down, <laughs> process, and yeah, kind of like readjust right now. So if you can do this, Aquarius, if you can just slow down a little bit, you will actually get everything that you are asking for. Ten of Pentacles upright, Ten of Cups reverse. Sorry, Ten of Pentacles. Yes, it's really interesting because I feel like this is you maybe even thinking the possibility. And I'm not saying that all Aquarius has never thought about um what they will want out of life. I'm not saying that. But what I'm seeing here is that now that things are in go mode 
and you'll wait you're like wait a minute I've actually always wanted to be like on tv or I've always wanted to have my own business I've always wanted to be in a fulfilling relationship and have kids wait so it's possible are you kidding me like so I get it this is why you're in go mode because you're just like you got a little taste of it and a little like the idea that you can actually fulfill your dreams the idea to actually fulfill your dreams and you're like oh my gosh like I'm going for this full speed like you can't stop me and I, I love this I love this Aquarius right because a 10 especially is like this ending of this it's like a world card you've been through this huge cycle of stagnancy and challenges and one after the other and the other and you're just like I'm so tired <laughs> so tired I finally got my action back I finally got my mojo back and now you're telling me to stop again now you're telling me now you're telling me to slow down it feels a bit strange right it feels a bit like well it's not fair right I want to I want to go I want to jump off the, the moving horses I want to go but it's saying that it's coming right because this is like it's coming it's there it's possible Ten of Cups reverse is saying maybe the way of getting there needs to adjust. Okay. So you will get to the Ten of Pentacles. You will get to that ultimate ultimate sense of satisfaction. Pentacles can be anything. It could be that career that you want. It could be the home that you want. It could be the family that you want. It could be the business that you want, whatever that is, a job. But the Ten of Cups reverse, this is telling me that the way that you think you're going to get there is, is not, it's probably not it. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper into this. I'm curious. What is the way? How can Aquarius achieve their dreams? How do they get to the Ten of Pentacles? Let's ask. This took forever to come out. I, I'm going to cut it, but I was shuffling for like three minutes. <laughs> So interesting. How does Aquarius get to their Ten of Pentacles? How do they get to that sense of accomplishment and fulfillment and just feeling happy with their dreams and goals? High Priestess Reverse. Most people would want to get the High Priestess upright, which is like, I am so in tune with the universe and my guides and my uh, and my third chakra is all around. It's yeah. Yes, we all want that. Who is a saying is that you don't actually know. <laughs> to no sabe. <laughs> you don't know, Aquarius. So how are you going to lay it out if you don't have the right information? You have to connect to your guides. You have to connect to your spirit around you. You have to connect to co-creation. You don't have it. You know, diva. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not a diva, but it's just like, yeah, you don't, you don't got the sauce. You don't got the formula. The chariot is reminding you not only about action, but the chariot card traditionally is about moving when your guides, these two horses tell you to move. You just saw the green light and you were like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to tell me twice. I'm gone. I'm on that bike and I'm gone. Tell me twice. But they're saying, okay, no, 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 slow down. You don't only move when spirit tells you to move. You only move when the audience asks you for that thing. You only move forward. You don't start dating everybody. <laughs> you only date the people that spirit is like, you get a tinge and you're like, ooh, this person feels right. You gotta, gotta move with spirit. This is co-creation right now. So I know it feels like anti- climatic to say okay well you only move when spirit tells you to but it's saying it in so many different ways um i'm sure the card the oracle cards will also reiterate this again let's get a rune card the runes tell it to us straight let's see. Mm -hmm. we have the thoraz rune upright so this is about um Letting us find our peace in the battle, enthusiasm, self empowerment, yang, masculine energy, deep transformation. So, yeah, I feel like 
Aquarius, you are going through a huge shift, especially like Pluto in your sign. If if you're interested, look listen to the Pluto and Capricorn reading because Pluto and Capricorn was a challenge for a lot of them, but I know a lot of Capricorn sun, moon, rising people, and they 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 met those challenges. And a lot of them did really well, like at business-wise, relationships. They're doing, they were doing the damn thing. And now that Pluto is not in their sign, they feel a little bit lost. They feel like, well, what can I do if I don't have this fire, this, this Pluto dramatic, strong energy behind me? So I feel like now that you have it in your sign, they're saying, you know, start start slowly Let, let's the transformation is going to happen it's going to happen <laughs> whether you know it's going to happen either way I feel like you're ready for it but like I said you don't know how to move forward yet you don't have all the information that you need so it's really important to find peace in slowing down finding peace and not having all of your ducks in a row finding peace and not having to figure it all out right now Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, like I said, you've been doing the work. You've been showing up day and night, working here, working month to month, getting it done, showing up, doing the thing. They're like, that is not what we asked you to do. Who told you to do that? That was Capricorn's job. That's not your job. Capricorn and Aquarius are two different signs. Capricorn, yes, put the work in. And that's that's the energy of Capricorn, right? You put the work in, you get the results. You you're mount, they're mountain goats. They keep climbing. They go towards the goals. You're not a mountain goat, Aquarius. <laughs> you're not even you're not like an entity. You're the water bearer. You're here to spill your water out to everybody. Yeah, you're not meant to work super hard at that. And that's what I'm seeing. Pluto's like, I don't know who told you to hit the ground running. But that's not the direction that I would like you to go. I would like you to listen to me, first and foremost. <laughs> and secondly, uh, only move when I tell you to move. Yeah, you got beef. You got beef with Pluto right now. You got beef with the guides right now, Spirit, your ancestors, whomever. You got beef. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not you're you're not having it. You're not. You're like this is not. I keep hearing this is not fair. Like what what the heck? I got this energy and I I don't. Just you want me to like continue to do all the things? Yes, you're co ruled by Saturn. But what about Uranus? Uranus is like I move when I say I'm gonna move. I move when, whenever. It might move now, right? <laughs> so Uranus is very unpredictable. So you have to remember, you are not Capricorn. You are not here to just tough it out and just get it done. You're not about that. Let's see, what message do you have for Aquarius, please? Hmm. I got to take my own advice. If I'm an Aquarius. And I don't listen. I don't. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. First of all, you got two eagles here. Amazing. You got the eagle, see things from a higher perspective, and you got shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. Okay. Pluto, the eagle is a representation of the highest energy of Pluto, Scorpio. We have the scorpion, which is kind of the lower version, the revenge seeking um um i don't know semi violent energy that we express from scorpio normally what people see then we have the phoenix which is the burning of that energy into something new and then we have the eagle the eagle is the highest representation of scorpio or said be pluto energy not that you have two eagles this is literally this is pluto this is pluto saying okay this is not how i operate i don't operate just in a random, you know, just going for it nonstop energy. Not for you. You need to step back. This is why we don't want you to work as hard. This is why we're not, we're saying that the way that you thought you wanted it is not the way it's going to be. This is why you don't know because I haven't told you yet. But it was like, 
you know, I was like, only, only come for me when I, when I call you. <laughs> only come for me if I call you. This is very Pluto energy, right? So seeing things from a higher perspective, you need to create distance from what you're doing. You need to create distance from the relationship. You need to create distance from the job. You need to create distance from the business. It might be helpful to take more breaks, to allow yourself to turn this high priestess upright, connect with your guys. They're literally right there. They want to shower you with the information. It's, be, it's channeling the information. It's channeling the resources that you need for your business. It's channeling the connection with your relationship, which way to go next. Shapeshifter. Sharing your gifts, unveiling your gifts. This is, this is you. This is Pluto's in your sign. It's, it's, your, it's Aquarius's time. It's time for you to be the weirdo. It's time for you to be strange. It's time for you to not do things the way that Capricorn would have done it, which would have been, I show up, I do the thing, I get the reward. I show up, I do the thing, I get the reward. That does not work for you. <laughs> you have Uranus in the mix. And Uranus is going to throw a wrench or a lightning bolt, I should say, into your plans. My mom has a saying that God laughs in the face of plans. And um, she just told me this as a child and I used to hate it <laughs> because I'm an Aquarius and I like to plan, I like to structure. I lean so much, a lot of us lean so much into our Saturn that we forget that Uranus is also there. Uranus is like, she don't see me? like. They don't see me. Um, no, we don't. A lot of the times we don't. A lot of times Aquarius is I know. We tend to lean towards the Saturn because we get rewards quicker with Saturn, right? We we follow the rules and we get we get what's coming to us. And it makes sense. Uranus sometimes doesn't make sense. But we have to go with this. This is our co-ruler. This is our, you know, our other half. <laughs> So let's get some Oracle cards. I can make this, I can, I'm gonna show you the card. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying the foundations, divine plan. Let me just talk about plans. Didn't we just talk about plans? And this is literally God, your ancestors, spirit. <laughs> Who's like, oh, I laugh in the face of your plans, Aquarius. <laughs> my divine plan is what we're going to use you can scrap that plan that you have we're not doing that no we're not doing that new foundations new beginning scrap it you do what you do what i say we're going to do or again we're going to co-create so it's not just you running the show we're we're running the show we are running the show not just you we're going to sit with that. I also need to sit with that because I'm an Aquarius and I, I need to hear this as well. <laughs> so please like and subscribe, please. Um, it'll help the channel to grow and um, help me to know that you like videos like this. I uh, hope this helps. Please check out my free resources below and have a great rest of the month. Speaks. Bye.